This video clip presents the improved representation of doors in the floor plan view and also introduces various enhancements regarding the opening line of doors. Let's activate the document, set model view, model view options menu command to open the corresponding dialog. Display the options for GDL objects tab page. Here we can adjust the 2D symbolic display of the representation of the door opening lines. We can select curved, straight, simple, and solid line shapes for doors, and select arrow and simple line shapes for sliding doors. The representations defined at the Model View Options dialog can be overridden for individual elements. Let's select the door and open its settings dialog. Let's select the Opening Lines Doors page at the Sliding Door Settings panel of the dialog. Let's check mark the Override Model View Options checkbox. Here we can select the desired line shape for the selected door. Let's select the arrow shape this time and leave the dialog. The floor plan representation of the door is instantly updated. The glazing panels of door leaves can also be displayed on floor plan views. Let's select this door and select the Font View Preview option in the Settings dialog. Let's also display the Door Leaves page on the Storefront Settings panel of the dialog. Let's select another type of door leave and notice the change of the representation of the leave in the Floor Plan view. Let's display the Parameters panel of the dialog of the selected door. Let's change the Frame Fill Background pen here. Notice that the display of the door frames on the floor plan have been updated. Leave overlap and gap between panels of sliding doors can also be set. Let's display the Leaf, Sash, and Opening Direction page of the Sliding Door Settings dialog. Here we can define the Leave Overlap Distance as well as for the gap by entering numeric values. Let's click OK to leave the settings dialog and notice the update in the floor plan representation view of the sliding doors.